Now let's roll our yellow. Just apply a bit of cornstarch and roll a thick sheet there. Place your template and cut it out. Same thing on the other side. And let's glue it here. Apply a bit of glue. And Now, let's roll the remaining pieces into thinner strips there. You don't need a lot, so you can just roll these pieces. And cut out some strips there. And let's glue it up here. And trim off the excess. like this. Now let's cut one more strip and paste on either sides. Apply glue on the sides and a bit of glue on those orange strips there. When you're gluing it, just give it a soft pinch there so that they both stick together. Just chopping off to get a straight edge there. And once again, giving it a soft pinch and a slight blend. Saracino is really good in that sense because it sticks on really well. Even if you are not using a lot of glue there, it's going to hold things in place. Now let's cut out the bigger circles. I 
I guess we'll have five place for five of them in here so I am going to it's slightly thick because it's part of those edges there it was slightly thicker okay we have five circles now let's roll it and get those smaller circles just a little bit of rolling required here because we are aiming for a nice thick sheet and we need five small circles here this is real fun the fidget toys were very popular during the lockdown and they still are I have to say they are kind of relaxing it reminds me of the um, bubble wrap you know when we never had fidget toys as being part of those 90s 80s and 90s um, kids and we used to use those bubble wraps and try to pop them it just reminds me of that okay so we have these let's start gluing them together just a tiny bit of glue and put them all together place them so we are fitting five in here and once you're happy with their placement start gluing them don't worry because you know even if you've glued it you can always move it a bit here and there it's only when you have applied a lot of glue and that you've really misplaced things that you would be in big trouble but you can always move them a little here and there so like this you can always change their placements here we go now moving on to our next color that's green it looks so nice and colorful I am loving it I love colors being an artist I think I just love all the colors now, now let's roll green nice elongated thick sheet Sarcino is so soft and smooth I love working with it and that's number four that we need to cut now from the sides
and same thing I'm going to glue these then apply a bit of glue I have to say these templates are really handy once you draw them and cut them into strips you can just use them or and reuse them okay now let's roll this into slightly thinner strips Only use cornstarch if you require. Don't just keep applying a lot of cornstarch. A little bit more. And now let's cut our strips. and start gluing it apply some glue now if you have the fear that it would stick onto the base make sure just keep sliding it up and down and the second thing is even if you feel it's slightly stuck don't worry it's not going to stick because this is kind of a silicon mat and usually it would not really stick onto your mat unless it's like if you have applied plenty of glue yes it would stick but with just teeny tiny bit of glue there and the way you have sprinkled a bit of cornstarch before placing everything I don't think so it's going to stick okay so let's put this the bigger strip and once it's nice and dry you can just lift your mat and peel it out so don't worry that it's going to stick now as I said you're gently blending it and pinching it in with the yellow there and chopping off Similarly on the other side. Now let's okay so this is nice and thick so let's cut the smaller circle first. we need approximately five to six circles again now if you're a regular cake maker and you get a lot of kids birthday parties um, or birthday themed orders this is something that you can do in advance and just decorate your cake whenever you have your order so if you have anybody with a last minute order which we all do we all get customers with a rush order there 
And if you don't want to lose that order, uh, if you have time to make the cake but not decorate it, this could be an option for that kind of parties. And it's so colorful, to be honest, everyone, including the adults, are going to love it because of the vibrance in the colors there. Now, let's roll a thinner sheet here. Mm -hmm. So let's sprinkle a bit of cornstarch. And a thin sheet here. Now let's cut and start gluing them together okay so when you cut with any cutter we all know but if there is a beginner um, you always get a right and a wrong side I would say the side that you cut with is the right side so I tend to use that side and you're gluing Let's pop it on. Yes, I think we can have six. In here, let's glue them. Brilliant. And moving on to the next color now. Now let's roll the darker shade here. And number five. Mm 
of the sides. And let's glue it. Apply some glue. Now when you're applying glue, hold your brush in a slant position rather than a vertical position there so that you try and avoid all the glue that could go on the mat there. Now, I'm going to trim a bit. Now, I find it's slightly bigger on the sides, so I'm going to cut from. Both the sides. And place it back. Perfect. Now let's apply a bit of glue. And Now on the sides, blend it and just trim the edge back to straight. And same thing, blend it, glue it on the other side as well. Okay, let's get rid of all the bits here. And I think it would be five again in this one. So let's cut five. Scrunch up and let's roll into a thick sheet.
Okay. Let's glue all of them together. Now if you see a bit of that sugar paste on the edges, just blend it and then glue. Now let's place So again, if you see those cutter marks there and you see that bit of sugar paste, just blend it with your fingers. Now let's glue it. Moving on to our last two colors there, we're nearly there. Let's roll our blue. We don't need a lot here, it's a smaller piece there. Just a little bit. Let's glue. Now. Let's cut 10 strips. Once again, apply some glue.
and along the edges. Similarly on the other side. <clears throat> Let's start cutting circles. Now if you feel it's sticking, just apply a bit of cornstarch on your cutter. And same thing, just apply a tiny bit of cornstarch on the inside and the outside of your cutter and start cutting Yeah. Just smoothen the edges as I said earlier and glue your little circles on top. Place them so I guess we'll have four it's a great way um, of counting as well if you have little kids and they're sitting beside you you could ask them to count Ask them to figure out how many might fit in and they'll enjoy being here with you. Because kids always like to be part of things that you're doing and when you give them jobs like this, they're really happy. No. Let's move on to the next color that's purple and let's blend it. Now you can go with any sequence. There isn't any sequence that I would say you have to follow. You can just go with your favorite colors. You can just mix and match your colors. You can go with exact rainbow shades if you want. So it's completely up to you. Now let's roll our purple here. Again, into a thick sheet to begin with. And 
the last template that's number seven here cut from the sides smoothen your edges now I am going to cut from one end and then glue onto it a bit of glue on the edges here and let's roll this into a thinner sheet Now let's cut into strips. Now start gluing it from this end right up to this point here. Blend it with that glue there. Chop off the extra that you have and blend it with the glue again here. Now, let's cut I think we will manage maybe two or three. Let's see. I think it would just be two. So, two circles in purple here. The big and small circles. And Let's glue I'm actually going to try for the third one because I think there is space for the third one so let's try if we can fit in the third one Apply a bit of glue. And now 
Here we go. It's ready. So now what we need to do is let it dry for at least few hours before you try and pull it out because at this stage it will be fragile and it might break. So just wait for maybe four hours or something like that and then gently try to lift it. I'll show you how we have to lift it. Now let's keep it for drying. 